Hey guys, welcome back to another Beer Guys World of Tanks replay. Now, I know we just had one in the Comet a couple of days ago, which was my first mastery game and another nice game that I had. Uh, but the next day, I had another mastery game and it was even better. So uh, I thought I'd show you both of them. So a little bonus uh, Comet mastery game today. We're not top tier, it's a tier 8 game. Uh, we're on highway. It's a map. I kind of struggle a little bit with... I don't know, oh, that's the enemy LTTB dying, probably from uh, falling off the bridge at like J4, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's a bit of a map I kind of struggle from, from this spawn, really. I've started sort of coming over to the middle and trying to get shots across the middle recently, when I'm in sort of medium tanks like this. Uh, it's pretty risky, though, because if you get spotted, you can um, you can kind of get punished quite a lot. So we've got a nice little early shot in the 12T. I thought it was worth taking and another really nice shot there. Uh, and very luckily the charioteer doesn't actually damage us, just puts a shot into our tracks. Doesn't lose any uh, hit points. So we tuck in here next to this house and this is, it's a nice place. Sometimes you get these nice shots that open up for you. But a lot of the time the people up on that ridge are going to be out of range. See there, that T29, move that out of range. Uh, we do manage to actually land a hit on him. And this shot uh, doesn't go, quite go to plan, we blow up that thing. And then proceed to miss quite a few shots on the leopard. But um, yeah, it's one I like. Like I don't really like to go down to the town if I don't have armor. It doesn't really work for me. I couldn't push the uh, the uh, top left because none of my other teammates were going there, so I'd be going there solo. Uh, but that's probably you know that's probably your other good spot to go through, go to for a medium. But I thought I'd try this. I started pushing down because that light tank was there to spot them out, uh, and then he died. So. It didn't quite work out, but we ended up with some side shots in this guy to make. Don't manage to catch the uh, the lucky blind shot. We push up. You're just a bit risky here because all this cover is pretty destructible, apart from those two, those two what, water towers, I guess they are. Those things, no, like things for storing grain. I don't know. I'm I'm not a farmer. You know, I work in <laughs> I work in software. But um, but we've actually ended up in not a bad position. The risk is if you get spotted here, you can be taking shots from quite a few sides because they could be shooting you from over there. Even if I tuck in in these buildings to my left. Uh, yeah, you know, you're pretty exposed. So we're going to sit here. We're going to be cautious. Going to hope we get some shots. Maybe some spots. Our team's kind of been very... I don't know. Not very aggressive getting down into the town. They've all gone to the town. Uh, and then seem to be taking their sweet-ass time getting down there. Apart from those two heavies. That are right down already. So pretty... Uh, Pretty uneventful start to the game, really. We've not taken any damage yet. We've dished out a very small amount of damage. The enemy lost a light tank to uh, suicide. But it'll pick up. Don't worry. There's the leopard we want to get rid of. And we derpix. We didn't aim in all the way because it's in a hurry. But we managed to finish him off. So there we go. That's what now they're down both their light tanks, which is good because that means I can uh, I have a little bit of a better chance of not getting spotted while in this in this position. We got some nice side shots on the Tiger One, but we're gonna have to reposition. Try and get some shots in this T43 as well. But the risk here is if I start getting spotted by these guys, then I'm probably gonna get start getting shot on the left as well. Let's talk tactics. So Tiger One's pushing up. Not really got a shot on him. Trying to find a shot on the Boilermaker. I think he backs out. Yep, he's gone. But the T43, he's sitting in a pretty silly position. Um, he's pretty exposed. So hopefully we can uh, we can start to chip away at this guy. Actually bounce one. I think that must have hit the side of his turret there. There we go. Managed to start doing some damage. And he's in the water as well. So he's going to be going extra slow. And then he just parks it up here. <laughs> and we finally get spotted. There we go. Eight shots. Nine shots in. We get shot spotted. We put one more into him, duck out of the way to start a shot, fire another, land that one, and then we decide to get out there because we're taking hits from the left. Um, we need to get unspotted or in some cover or, or both because there's these guys. Well, these guys aren't actually looking at me, and we are unspotted now, so we'll try and take a uh, side shot on the prototype. Bounce them both and decide to go back for these guys. This poor little T43. Thought maybe I'd uh, been distracted and he got away with it. And he's dead. So there we go. 12 damaging shots. One shot of damage taken. Not doing very much damage either. So pretty good start for the old Comet. 
So I had to push up a little bit because our team's looking it's pretty even at this stage. This sort of stage in the battle where you can normally figure out, you know, are you going to win or are you going to lose? Is it going to be tight or is it going to be, you know, mopping up? And this is going to be, you know, it looks tight at this stage. Our team's in a kind of crappy position. We've got a lot of people camping the base, which is never a good sign that they're any good. Uh, but you never know. And we've got one heavy on his own down the bottom. So we've got some great side shots into this guy. We managed to track him. Well, that wasn't our track, but the original track was our track. Oh, we managed to get quite a lot of nice damaging shots onto this poor AT-15. And he goes by his house, and then, very politely, drives out again so we can shoot him. And that one goes straight through the back. So there we go. We got spotted, but we get a lucky snapshot on the Type 59. A little bit risky, actually, going across the bridge. Uh, probably would have been safer going into the, into the riverbed to get lower. But we decided to push across and try and encourage our base camping heavies to, to push with us, you know, break out, uh, maybe try and crack this flank a little bit. So I didn't think there'd be too many here. There's actually a few more than, uh, than I thought. They also have some base campers, full health Jagdpanther. We don't really want to um, get shot by. And we know they've got a Type 59 knocking around. The RT now is shooting at me. There we go. Jag Jagdpanther's getting hit, which is great. And he's also panicking. He's turning to shoot this medium gun off on the right. Actually, <laughs> completely ignores me, which is great. I'm not going to stop to aim in a shot. We're just going to have to fire on the move and hope. There we go. It ends up working out pretty well. But we get here. There's a full health Tiger 2, which we don't really want to take head on. We get really lucky with the pen there. Almost dive down the hole. Um, and so I decide that taking on that Tiger 2, probably not the best idea. Let's go and finish this guy. There we go, take him out. Oh, Tiger 2 just misses, and we are going to get out of here. There we go. Also, we are taking shots from over there, so yeah, would have been a bad idea, I think, to to try and engage that Tiger. I had the support from that medium, but he was on low health. And taking shots on that T29, and taking on the Tiger 2, and the RT. Yeah, didn't feel like a great idea. So, um, still pretty even on the teams. We got one up on them now. But not anymore. The RT takes out the T44. GG, well played. And so I decide to uh, to come round and try and find, have another crack at this Tiger 2. Now with our own Tiger 2 to support. Split the fire a bit. And we can try and take out that Tiger 2 and the RT. Just seeing if we've got any easy shots into this T29 as well. Because he's going to be pretty easy to pen. If he shows me anything other than his turret. And switching up to the APCR rounds as well now, because I've only got 13 rounds left, 12 of which are APCR, so we're going to have to use them. We might as well fire up this Tiger 2. Things are getting pretty tight. We've got a lot of health at the moment. Oh, that was very helpful from the artillery. Thank you. <laughs> nice little shot from him. So we decided to push in on the Tiger 2. We're on four kills at the moment. That's about to change. Get unlucky, they hit the upper plate of the Tiger 2, actually bounce one, he gets tapped again, put one in his butt to finish him off. There's the GW Panther, not sure when he fired, but we take him down anyway with an APCR round, I think. Or was that or did we actually manage to reload and we we fired off our AP round at some stage there? Very efficient use of ammo. So we've got ten rounds left, uh, six kills, three enemies remaining. Game on. We're not gonna cap. Want to go down here. So the T29 is actually pushed back. He was much closer than I expected. I thought he'd be pushing towards our flag, uh, but he ends up hitting me a lot more than than I would have liked. Tracks me using my repair kit, but we managed to get on the move and start doing what you want to do in a medium tank. Or a quick one like the Comet is try and circle people as much as you can. That slows down their rate of fire. You see his poor old turret trying to turn around. He's got no chance. There's the charity that hit me earlier. Get a really nice lucky little shot there. Look at this, we've got two shells remaining. Hit that one, one shell remaining for kill number eight for the Radley Walters. Just, just, just. Although arguably uh, we might have been able to ram kill that guy because he was on pretty low health. And there we go, we're very rapidly, we've uh, we've gone from four to eight kills. We've got four, en well, four friendlies remaining, one enemy. He's over here. Uh, we're gonna go and get involved. I don't really think there's any risk of losing. I mean, he's got a lot of health. But we're going to be able to three on one him down here. That heavy is sitting on the cap, so you know I think he can cap before the prototype can 
pull off some sort of clutch win and drive over there. So all I'm interested in is trying to ram this guy for as much damage as possible. If I can uh, just give him my teammates a little little heads up. If I can get the ram kill, you know, that'd be great. Nine kills. Very nice achievement. But a uh, T28 prototype, pretty pretty heavy tank. You know, not, not a prime ramming target. He's on kind of low health though. Low-ish. Uh, but Comet... No, not the biggest uh, tank in the shed, but we'll see what we can do. He's tracked. We're going in. Going in hot, lads. And, uh, 135. Not leaving on much health, but uh, 192 left. So we didn't even do half we needed to, but the RT finishes him off. Um, and we had a pretty solid game. Eight kills, 34 damaging ribbons. And there you go, the mastery, 4,411 damage, highest damage I've had in the Comet so far. That's five points, that nice little op that we've going on this month. And uh, a host of other medals as well. Mastery, high caliber, Raddy Walters, and all the other ones, the kills that go with it. Also, highest base XP I've had in the Comet so far, 2,200. I think the mastery game I got was a lot lower than that. I can't remember, well, you guys saw it a couple of days ago. But, uh, but yeah, certainly the highest I've had by a long way in the Comet. A lot of missed or bounced shots uh, but we still did a pretty respectable amount of damage I think 4,400 in a in a tier 7 medium is pretty pretty solid if you imagine how much you could do if you uh, actually landed most of your shots but yeah I suppose that's not how it goes is it anyway well thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed that uh, that was a really fun game so it's, you know it's old school to just have a good random game and bring you it that's what we that's what the channel used to be uh, so there you go you know hope you like it anyway give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe and all that stuff my name's Ben we are the beard guys, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.